सो हे गाइड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फॉर ट्यूटोरियल्स सो गाइस टुडे आई विल टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट सीजीआई प्लांट ग्रोइंग एनिमेशन विद यूजिंग ब्लेंडर एंड फॉर ट्रैकिंग गाइस आई एम यूजिंग आफ्टर इफेक्ट या सी गाइस दैट्स माय रियली कूल एनिमेशन एंड नाउ गाइस स्टॉप आई शो यू माय रेंडर प्रीव्यू सो गाइस गो टू एंड रेंडर एंड रेंडर इमेज चेक या सी गाइस दैट्स माय रियली कूल फाइनल रेंडर इट्स लुकिंग रियली गुड राइट एंड गाइस क्लोज so now guys i teach you how i create this type of effect so guys close so file and i create new composition so guys for tracking go to on after effect see guys the axe my tracking and preview check the axe my simple tracking and guys same new project and guys import your clip so guys click on here you can download this clip link in description so import and go to on here track and 3d camera check ओके सो गाइस माय ट्रैकिंग इज फिनिश नाउ गाइस सेलेक्ट योर एनी थ्री ट्रैकर पॉइंट्स एंड गाइस गो टू एन एडवांस एंड एवरेज एरर दिस वन 0.33 इज गुड सो गाइस सेलेक्ट योर की एंड राइट क्लिक गाइस सेट ग्राउंड एंड प्लेन ओरिजिन चेक एंड वन मोर टाइम राइट क्लिक क्रिएट सॉलिड कैमरा चेक या एंड गाइस प्रीव्यू या दैट्स माय सिंपल ट्रैकिंग राइट एंड गाइस नाउ import your data in blender so guys firstly select your tracker points and go to on zero frame here and select top four position and copy so go to on blender and delete your all here lighting and guys now firstly click on here guys that's my ae to blend add on it's paid add on so guys create plane check yes and now guys import your camera So guys, go to on here camera and select top two position and guys go to on create camera check. Yeah, see guys, that's my camera. Okay, so now guys, its default start on zero frame. So shift layer starting from one second, one frame. Yes, and guys now go to on here end frame. Guys, my video frame is four fifty. So go to on after effect and see guys, that's my 450 frame and now guys lastly double click on this camera and copy focal length so copy focal length simple and go to on blender and guys select your camera here and focal length paste control v enter and press 0 yes and guys go to back and preview yeah that's my simple 3d camera tracking and guys now you can import your video clip so background image and movie clip so import your clip like this yeah and guys go to on here opacity i take 100% and preview check yes see guys that's my simple video clip tracking data and guys now i increase this plane size so plane size increase like this and little bit rotate little bit like this yeah good and guys align on here okay so guys now increase this size so select this one so guys increase position and guys select this one so go to on here and press 0 yes and guys attach on here corner yeah and preview check yeah see guys that's my simple flow right so guys i will change this one flow some settings all is good guys little bit more this size scale size little bit more little bit yes okay so now guys press zero and this time guys go to on back zero frame and click on here and now guys go to on here attach on this corner like this and guys click on here second one points yes good see guys that's my simple corner points and guys select this one go to on here so little bit change yeah that's it guys right that's my simple plane and click on here Okay so guys my plane is good and now guys this time I apply increase segments 
so go to our edit mode select edge select this one and right click go to our loop cut and slice check and guys enter and loop cut number of cut increase like a uh, to 50 enter and guys go to on here guys select this one and right click go to on loop cut and slide check enter so guys go to unmade and factor like a zero and number of cut increase like a 40 is good randomly yeah 40 is good and guys yeah all is good okay so guys my plane is simple plane tracking and guys next one I apply UV spare and guys increase segments like a 1 to 8 and ring 64 and radius increase like this yeah and attach on here make guys press 7 so go to on back here little bit back yes guys next one I create position location animation so guys press I and location check and now guys go to on last 450 actually guys go to like a 500 and position change position change like this simple yeah and press I and location check yeah that's it right that's my simple position animation and guys now increase so guys select your keyframe select and press T and use liner check yes and guys preview yeah that's my simple animation and guys stop press 0 for camera so guys play yeah right see guys that's my animation okay so guys my first step is complete and now guys I create vertex map stop so guys firstly select this one that's my plane and go to on here and dynamic paint check and guys type canvas so add canvas check so go to on surface type I use weight yeah and go to on output and see guys that's my vertex group and click on here plus icon check yes and now and next one guys select your spare and dynamic paint check and give this time guys type I use brush and guys add brush check so guys source this one and paint I use approximately yeah that's it so guys next one I show you my weight paint check and guys preview yeah see guys that's my vertex effect vertex map guys you can change also spares depending on your work okay so guys select this one paint plane and guys now go to on here catch it check and guys bake all check guys most important part don't forget to catch it and bake yes and guys again weight paint and guys now play yeah that's it guys okay so guys my second step is complete that's my vertex map and now guys I apply particles plant grow effect so stop and now guys I create new collection and like a grass enter so guys this time go to on here and see guys that's my assets browser and I have biome reader add-on assets so guys select and type grass enter see guys that's my different different style of grass and guys now select this one and increase grass like this so second one increase yes right see guys that's my different different style of grass and now guys I apply this time plants like a flower so guys go to down you can apply this one yeah it's good and increase scale size yes right see guys that's my flower and guys I apply more flowers so guys go to down and guys like this this one increase scale size increase select this one and increase scale size yeah okay so guys you can apply this one plant 
guys depend on your work you can apply any plants okay so guys go to down and and guys select this one and increase scale size yeah see guys the action of beautiful plants flower and guys go to down yeah also this one and guys apply yes and change rotation like this yeah good and guys apply this one and increase size yeah good yes okay so guys that's it my flower is finished and lastly apply this one and increase size yeah that's it guys okay see guys that's my simple plants and flower so guys go to one timeline click and timeline check and now guys select your grass layer and right click select object check that's my selection and now guys press alt g yes that's my alt g location change yeah right see guys that's my all plants in one layer okay so guys next one select this one plane and go to one particle and create particle check and go to one here and guys see that's my hair length i like 1.6 is good and guys now go to a number like a 5000 enter so guys go to one here render and rend as a render i use collection and guys see that's my collection use grass yes and increase scale size like a scale size one and guys scale random like a 0 0.35 enter yes see guys that's my beautiful grass and position it's looking good right it's looking really good okay so guys now go to on here guys see that's my show emitter uncheck and guys next one i create plane one more time plane for shadow so increase plane size increase like this and guys scale size height increase yeah right so guys rename like a shadow yeah see guys that's my shadow and guys next one i create animation so guys select your this one sphere right click shade smoother so go to on particle select this one plane and guys particle and guys go to on here vertex group and see guys that's my length length use dp weight check yes and guys now and guys play yeah see guys that's my really cool animation so guys you can hide this pair select your spare hide and hide on render and guys preview check yeah much better see guys that's my really cool growing plant animation so stop and guys back and press zero and now guys play yeah really good see guys that's my final work it's looking really beautiful guys okay so guys now i apply this time light and change render setting so stop guys render setting i use cycle render device gpu check and go to on render like a one to eight is good for me and guys go to on denoise check so guys go to on here that's my film and transparent check and go to on color management so i use standard yeah okay so guys i apply hdri environment texture so guys you can apply any hdri image so guys go to down so guys i like this one and preview check so guys little bit change strength like a 0 0.7 and guys preview check here render preview yes right see guys that's a beautiful plants and now guys select your plane this one and go to on here so visibility and shadow catcher check yes so guys select your shadow layer this one and little bit up position little bit up yeah that's it guys right see guys that's my final work it's looking really beautiful and guys now i apply lighting so guys stop and guys i apply this time simple sunlight so guys see that's my sunlight up and little bit rotate rotate sunlight like this yeah and guys select your sunlight and strength like a 0 0.7 and angle 20 yeah and guys 
duplicate so press ctrl c and v i apply on here yes so i select this one yes right see guys that's my simple lighting and guys preview so guys i show you my one frame render render image check guys i will create some composition yeah see guys that's my final render and now guys background is not visible so guys close go to and compositing and use node check so guys apply shift a and i apply alpha over connect to mid one and next one guys shift a movie clip and apply same movie clip select and apply and guys connect to first one like this and guys now shift a and use viewer so connect to viewer in which check yes that's it guys right and press v that's my final composition okay so guys now go to on layout that's my final work so guys render and render image check see guys that's my final composition it's looking really beautiful so guys close and go to on here frame rate use 30 fps because my video frame rate is same and guys output and create new folder for render and take any file name accept so guys one more time preview yeah okay so guys that said my final work is finished it's looking really beautiful and best for beginners vfx and guys stop so guys go to and render and render animation check